Hey guys, my name is Freedom. This is a beginner's tutorial of the Icon 8 and Character Creator 4 series. And today we are going to learn about the prop animation in Icon 8. And last time previously in the avatar animations in Icon 8 tutorial, we already saved a file on the desktop. Now I'm going to open it. This is the Icon project. First I will open my Icon 8. To open the project file, I will open my Icon 8 first and then we wait for the Icon 8 to finish loading. Now, the Icon 8 already loaded. I click here. No, thank you. Right. Next, this is the previous save file, the iProject. Drag in. And we are going to, based on the previous file, we are going to make it one by one. We are going to do based on that. Now, it is loading the previous file. Right, now, the file is finished loaded. In this tutorial, we learn about the prop animation. First, we are going to, to load a prop. You have to go here. Wait. This is the prop at here. You can see. Click here, prop, template, prop, right here. All of these are props. You can apply any props here. You can click here to view, view all the props folder. For example, the 3D blocks. Here you can see a lot of 3D blocks here. For example, the bevel. Let's say this one. This is one of the prop. I just need to drag in. Right, these are some of the props. For example, like this column, a prism, like this. So now we have three props in the scene. And next, once you're already, already dragging the prop, we are going to create a prop animation. Right. The prop animation, let's say this is the original location of the props it's here. Let's say if you want to let this prop to move to here within 3 seconds, then you have to play for 3 seconds, 1 second, 2 seconds, 3 seconds. Alright, now. Now the timeline is at, at the third second here. Double click this prop and press W. Press W and point your mouse cursor to the yellow plane to move it here. Right. Now, within 3 seconds, it is going to move. From, from this position to here. Now, we click here to back to frame 0. Now, we, we try to play the timeline again. 1 second, 2 seconds, 3 seconds. You can see. Actually, you already immediately create an animation at here. Right. Let's say after 3 seconds, you can see. 1 second, 2 seconds, 3 seconds. Stop here. Then you pause it. At this moment, you want it to rotate it, rotate within three seconds, right? Then, at this moment, you you already selected. You have to to press E to just move it a little bit to create to create a keyframe. What is the keyframe? If you switch the window workplace to the animation, you can see this is a keyframe, right here. We click here to fit to the window. You can see the keyframe is here. Now, once you play, play for another three seconds. One second, two seconds, three seconds. I want this to rotate a few times. All right. Now, to make it rotate, what I need to do is just like this. Okay. Now, we created another keyframe already. Now, we back to the frame zero. Play. 1 second, 2 seconds, 3 seconds, reach here, then start to rotate. Right. Now the previous avatar's animation is still there. That is how. Right. What about, let's say, this prism? We back to the frame 0. Now we press R, is to scale it. How are you going to, to make a scale? 
say here I, I just make a little bit of the scale to create the keyframe one then I play one seconds two seconds three seconds I want to make it big right now four seconds five seconds I want to make it small and then press W to move it to here now okay let's say now I back to the frame zero we try to observe the animation now it is getting bigger and bigger then move it to there and getting smaller and smaller again right that is how are we going to create a keyframe for the animation of the prop in this tutorial this is the prop animation right the next prop animation rotate scale and move we're done then how to combine the props right now we back to the workplace of the standards to combine two props first let's say back to the, the frame one say now i i choose the column 009 and then i back to the 3d props here i put a put a cone here let's say now i want to combine these two i attach this to here first i also can put it like this now totally totally you are at the frame zero it doesn't matter like this. right now attach already go to the scene this is the cone and this is the column 009 cone you click here drag down scroll down to attach you want to attach this to the column 009 you pick the parents attach to here now under the column 009 you can see it become a sub prop if you select the column 009 you can move it together you can rotate it together it already attached this is the way how are we going to attach the prop combine the prop combine or attach the prop and then we may change the texture of the prop as well the next next tutorial change the texture of the prop you click here under the material this is the texture the texture of the column 009 you can change it right how are you going to change it for example if i go to the google image here i want to use another for example image dot google dot chrome no internet i connect to the internet now we are going to change the material and texture the image.google.com i will search the soldier texture for example this is just an example so just make sure i click into this and right click save the image on my desktop and soldier all right now this is just a picture the picture is at here this is jpg so next in your icon this is the base color what we call the texture i drag in this to replace the base color now you can see the texture the texture already changed it really become the the soldier's texture and the animation still there just now we created some of the animation the character animation and also the prop animations in the previous tutorial we learned the avatar animation this these are the three avatars that really have have been animated and today's one is the prop animation in icon 8 all of this prop you learn drag in the prop prop animation combine or attach a prop and also change the texture of the prop rotate scale and move always remember this these buttons to rescale it you have to to press to press r you can scale it you press e you can rotate it you press w you can move it to anywhere that's all and then select from the scene any of the prop that you want to select it you select from the scenes right that's all for today about the, the beginners tutorial of the icon 8 and character creator 4 of the prop animations and we are going to continue and i i will record more and more tutorial 
the beginner's tutorial for the iPhone 8 and Creator, Creator 4. All these tutorials will make in series. Alright, we are going to pause here first and I will see you on next tutorial. See you. Wait, before that, this one I have to save it. Just save it first. It will replace the previous file and it already override the previous save file. Now already save it and see you on my next video. Bye.